Good morning, everyone. In today's video, we're continuing to monitor this uh, big March snowstorm across the eastern coastline. So as you can see, this is the GFS model right now. We're going to move back a little bit further, and we're gonna actually going to go ahead and look at the NAM 3-kilometer model as uh, this is more of a short-range model, have much more high resolution. So let's look at this here, and let's actually look at our snowfall totals. And then we'll look at the future radar. We usually do look at that future radar, but let's look at the snowfall totals uh, just first up straight with you. So as you can see, uh, over here in Arkansas, we're already seeing snowfall across the central United States last night in even portions of uh, Missouri, Illinois, Indiana. Still see, uh, did see around two inches of snowfall. Now, as you can see, we're seeing these light colors. This is one to two inches of snowfall. So not a bunch of snowfall, but northern Mississippi, northern Alabama, you're seeing one to two inches of snowfall. And that's pretty rare, especially for March. Um now, as you go into Tennessee, western, eastern Tennessee, this is where you're seeing six inches of snowfall in this kind of narrow swath here of pink. Also, in well, eastern Kentucky, is seeing some six inches of snowfall. Also, in those darker blues, around three to four, two to four inches of snowfall in those darker blues. So, if, if you are in any of these darker blues, two to four inches of snowfall is going to be likely. But once you get into these pinks, uh, again, upwards of eight to 10 inches of snowfall. And especially over here in New England, this is where you're also seeing upwards of 10 inches of snowfall. So definitely a lot of snowfall for New England, but not a lot down here. But especially for the month of, the month of March, you don't usually see snowfall this far south. So it's going to be definitely a lot of snowfall for March in these areas uh, further south. Let's go look at our future radar here. This is definitely going to be a very quick video just breaking down everything of what's going on here and let's go ahead and move forward this is going to be at about right now when i'm recording this video we're seeing some snowfall over here across portions of missouri arkansas oklahoma we're also seeing a little bit of snowfall showers around texas uh, and arizona or new mexico sorry and as you can see you have a low pressure system right here this is the main low pressure system bringing in all of this snowfall and storms across portions of the southeast uh the south the mid-atlantic the northeast all seeing those impacts from this winter storm so let's go ahead and move forward uh throughout today this is going to be early afternoon today so 3 p.m we're seeing this uh, long line of snowfall showers that is still uh, currently developing yeah, this is going to be 3 p.m., so only a few hours from now as I'm recording this video. And this is actually going to post in probably the next 30 minutes or so because I'm not going to have to edit this here. Uh, but as you can see, we're seeing a lot of snowfall, and this is going to be around 10 p.m. So this is going to be really starting to happen uh, likely this evening into the overnight hours. As you can see, Tennessee, Mississippi, Arkansas really seeing that snowfall by 10 p.m. Also, Kentucky, Ohio. Uh, portions of Pennsylvania and New York is already seeing that snowfall in those areas. We're seeing a lot of rainfall also in the uh, more southern halves of Alabama and Mississippi. Let's move forward here. As you can see, that low pressure goes into Georgia, bringing those storms uh, for tomorrow. This is going to be overnight tonight. Uh, so we do have a uh, enhanced risk for severe storms today, but it's actually going to happen much later tonight into the overnight hours. So that's why we do have multiple enhanced risks uh, for uh, tomorrow and both today, uh, because this is going to be mainly an overnight event in the south here. We're seeing a lot of that snowfall again overnight hours across portions of the mid-Atlantic in the south. Let's move forward even more. This is going to be around uh, likely... 6 a.m. or so, as you can see, a lot of snowfall is now hitting portions of the Mid-Atlantic and a lot of also portions of the Carol North Carolina is also seeing some of that snowfall as well. But mostly for North Carolina, South Carolina is going to be that snowfall. Um, let's go ahead and move forward even more. Uh, let's go ahead and go to around 9 a.m. or so. And as you can see, New England is really seeing that snowfall there. And... Uh, as you can see, a lot of storms. We have an enhanced risk for severe storms in the Carolinas. And uh, this is for that line of storms bringing a lot of those damaging winds up for Saturday morning. Uh, and 
Let's go ahead and move forward even more. This is going to be around midday of Saturday, and we're seeing a bunch of snowfall in the northeast. Uh, those storms are definitely exit have exited uh, most of the United States, but still Florida seeing some of those, of those storms. And as you can see, still snowfall by the early afternoon hours of Saturday. Uh, and that should be moving out by likely the evening hours of Saturday. Uh, but you're still going to see some snowfall in the overnight hours, but really not that much. Um, let's go ahead and uh, let's take a look at our Storm Prediction Center outlook. As you see, you have enhanced risk for severe storms for day one. Day one is today. Uh, and every day one Storm Prediction Center outlook uh, from uh, just to get the hang of it, uh, Storm Prediction Center does outlooks by days. So day one, day two, day three, day two is the next day, day three is the next day after day two. So pretty much that's how it goes in the Storm Prediction Center. So day one is going to be today. We have enhanced risk for severe storms across portions of Florida and Georgia. And as you can see, we also have a slight risk for severe storms. Uh, the enhanced is going to be a level 3 out of 5 on the severe weather scale. The slight is going to be a level 2 out of 5 on the severe weather scale, which dots th those both areas you're going to see the most widespread severe storms later tonight, mostly in the overnight hours. In the, in, in the marginal risk, that's where you're also going to be a level 1 out of 5 on the severe weather risk scale. Uh, and that's where you could also see some isolated severe storms throughout the overnight hours uh, tonight and to tomorrow. The tornado risk, we do have a 10% risk for tornadoes. So that is a very decent chance for tornadoes. Also, also including the Tallahassee area. So definitely a populated area is going to be in that 10% risk for tornadoes. So definitely be alert. It's going to be mainly happening in the overnight hours, which is going to be extremely dangerous uh, because most people are going to be asleep. And there, uh, some people do not have uh, very reliable ways to get those tornado warnings or even severe thunderstorm warnings as wind threat is also going to be a big threat in this. Uh, also, uh, the 5% chance of tornadoes is very widespread. Uh, so definitely, if you're in the 5%, if you're in the 10%, or even the 2%, have a way to get those severe thunderstorm warnings and tornado warnings, especially uh, for those tornado-prone areas. Uh, especially in the southeast, you don't usually see much tornadoes down here, and especially in Florida. Uh, but definitely still have to have that way uh, to get tornado warnings in any type of year, because in, in the south, you could see tornadoes uh, pretty much the entire year so have a way to get those tornado warnings no weather radio cell phone uh tv television uh, all of that stuff is ways to get those tornado warnings winters give a 30 percent chance for uh, for winds 70 miles per hour or greater 15 percent chance for uh, 60 mile per hour winds and greater and five percent chance also uh, for 60 mile per hour winds so 15 percent in the 30 percent that's where you're likely going to see 65 to 70 mile per hour winds in those storms hail risk is not like going to be very big we only have five percent chance for likely quarter sized hail let's go ahead and lastly look at let's look at tomorrow's outlook we have an enhanced risk for severe storms again and uh, this is again going to be mainly a wind threat for the East Coast. Not much as uh, the tornado threat for today, um, but definitely still that tornado threat is going to be there for that line of storms moving through the East Coast. The wind risk, we have a th still that 30% chance for winds, uh, 70 miles per hour. So very damaging winds is going to be hitting across the East Coast. So again, have those ways to get severe thunderstorm warnings. Make sure you are in a sturdy shelter for those 70 mile per hour winds. Again, hail threat is really not a threat at all. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new and turn on post notifications so you won't miss a single upload or live stream on the channel. But as always, stay safe.